We have a riding the chair. It's been a long time. Uh, the Reverend Pamela Morris with us. Good, uh, good morning to you. Good morning. Yeah. Uh, you, you've been all around the world. You're finally joining us. I am, and yeah. I'm leaving again on Sunday Back for the on... last World Cup in Aspen. So, well, yeah. why wouldn't you? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, before you do, I mean, uh, you've got an event coming up Saturday. I have an event so coming up So you're flying up back? No, no, no. It's no, before no. I leave. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. So tell me about the event. So this Saturday, uh, from about 4 to 5.30-ish, the students of Carabasa Valley Academy, along with some staff and some folks from Sugarloaf Christian Ministry, will be canvassing door-to-door uh, -door for our local uh, food closets. And it's a huge event, huge event. Well, this event is something that uh, everyone participate, a lot of people participate in, and you should too. T tell us where it all goes and why. Well, one of the things that's really cool about this drive is there aren't many places left in the, you know, in the country where you can just kind of knock on people's doors and it's okay. Well, yeah. And we want to keep that alive as long as we can um, here at Sugarloaf. So it goes to the Salem Economic Ministry uh, down in Salem, which is across from Mount Abram. And then from there, it comes back to Carabasset and Kingfield and Phillips and Strong, where so many of our employees work. Um, Copeland. It's huge. It's huge where it goes. So, but it stays really, really local. Right. So uh, th there may be folks. To, uh, how can folks participate? And then again, if someone comes to your door, you, you, you don't know who they are. Right. Uh, the kids should be have some kind of CVA logo. They have a little piece of paper with them that says, "Hey, I'm collecting for the food drive." Really, truly. Right. <laughs> and don't give them beer. Please don't give them beer. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. you know, it's, it's been known to happen. <laughs> well, I guess maybe they thought they were helping, but I don't know. <laughs> it just gets them in trouble. Don't, 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 yeah. don't, don't do that. No, but we're um, looking for what? We're looking for anything that can sit on a shelf, dry goods. Not yeah. something that's already been opened, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and, and what I realized, this is the end of February vacation week, so you might not have anything, but you might have an extra roll of toilet paper. Or you might have something else like that that hasn't been uh, opened, which is great. Uh, and we, we take cash and we take checks. Yeah. And the kids will have with them, I should have brought it with, they'll have a little piece of paper, has a QR code on it. Just take a picture with your phone. It'll take you right over to our website. Oh, you and do it right now. You could do it right now? That would be great. Oh, look at this. Hey, let's all that. play this game. Let's all play this game. Take your photo you take with your, your phone. phone and scan that right now. And then. So, and then maybe we won't have to come to your house. No, That's just right. Kidding. Just a little. No, close. seriously, yeah. we can't make it any easier. PayPal, yeah. secure. You everybody's are so done high it. tech. We should be wearing <laughs> a spacesuit, Pam. Jeez. <laughs> oh, you're flattering me. My kids would be dying laughing. Oh my that. gosh. <laughs> now, you're doing the online church now, and you are yeah. just know where all the buttons are. Uh, so th we've talked about where the food goes and 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 what there is, but but you can give um, you know you can give money. You, if can you can't make up your mind. If you can't make, well, or you've run out of stuff. Yeah. Or, and a lot of the, um, the funds that the economic ministry uses, then they purchase food through the Good Shepherd. And it's so much cheaper for them to purchase food through the Good Shepherd right, than it is right. for you and I right. to go and buy something at you know, retail right. and donate it. Hotel. So right. uh, last year, we collected over $3,000, which blew away all of our previous records, and we would so much like to do that again if folks could be generous. Uh, you know, we have folks making here, right here, folks that you have brushed up against without even knowing, making decisions between food and fuel. Um, right. Right. If you tried to buy a quart of wood, yeah. um, even, not even just talking about oil, not even just talking about gas. Uh, so we really have folks that, this this is not just like a oh it's it's so nice this is a challenge this is a challenge yeah. so you, you you have some volunteers but you're looking for some some drivers right yeah if anybody wants to take two hours out of their lives and make a difference um, you can reach me at the church phone you can reach me at pam at ministry dot com super easy I'm looking for a handful more of drivers if. Uh, Particularly if you're a CVA parent alum. Remember you used to do it? It was so fun. Now your kids are old. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You you're not old, but your you, kids are old. <laughs> you can reminisce a little bit. That's yeah, right. Reminisce. Yeah. So they'll be going door to door. And uh, I see there is a time set up between 4 and 5.30. Yeah, they'll pretty much go out between 4 and 5.30. Yeah. And I know a lot of you may not have been 
got back to your place by then. If it's a no. really nice day, I don't know what it will be this weekend. Uh, you might not be there. So you can drop off food at the chapel. You can drop it off at Birchwood Interiors. <laughs> I'll throw them under the... Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> that they're open if you want to log it all the them, way up there. You? you could call me and say, hey, I would like to drop this off. You could drop it off at CVA, yeah. at the Cap, you know, Capricorn at the building on 27. Yeah. Why not? Um, sometime on Saturday. We'll While you're it. here, can we talk about services? Sure. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, lay it out because it's vacation week. There may be some people that, that don't know exactly what happens here at Sugarloaf. Sure thing. Uh, some folks have already called and asked about tomorrow, which is Ask Wednesday, the beginning of Lent. We do not have a service here. There is a service, I believe, at 6 o'clock up at the Catholic Church in Stratton. If that's something okay. you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And then on Saturday, there's Catholic Mass at 430 at the chapel. Obviously, I don't do that, but it's there. Uh, and then Sunday morning at 9 a.m. in the building, and then 11 a.m. outside for downhill worship. There you go. The only place, oh, here, I got it. The only place where you can go downhill for church. <laughs> wow. Going downhill fast. Hey, that's something to be proud of since 1982. Since 1982. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A church that goes downhill fast. I mean, And it on, really doesn't matter fun. what the conditions are, does it? No, it really doesn't. No. No. All roads point downhill. Yeah, all roads. <laughs> that's right. And so uh, make a couple of devotional stops and, and yeah. sugar loaf style. That's fun. That's right. We have a sign right at the base of the Double Runner chair. If you look up at Double Runner, it's right to the left there. Mm. And we meet at 11. We take one run together. And yeah, we keep moving to keep you warm and just give you a chance to reflect on your life and on the day. And it's super fun. And I did a couple weeks ago and I had some kids with me that I had never met before, 11 year old. And we get to the end and we get to the finish and he says to me, that outside church is so much more fun than <laughs> inside church. I'm like, man, I wish I'd had the camera rolling for that. It was great. Because it was so spontaneous. A was live like, oh. testimonial right a there. He was excited. Well, thank you, Pam. We appreciate that. Thanks for sharing and the work that you do. And uh, once again, it is taking place Saturday from 4 until 5.30 on the 25th. Everyone is encouraged to participate. Right. And if you've got any questions, call the church office 237-2304.